It seems everywhere cherries grow, people soak them in alcohol. Hello and welcome to My Tiny Bottles, the project where I'm exploring my grandmother's legacy of miniature liquor bottles, one tiny bottle at a time. I'm your host, Tammy Coxon. After recruiting a native Polish speaker to help me figure out the backstory of bottle 39, Wawel Honeywine, I was a little worried about starting to research bottle 47, Polmos Wisniak, but it was actually one of the easiest bottles I have had so far. Wisniak is a Polish cherry liqueur. That was easy to learn since the front of the bottle says Polish cherry right on it. But searching for it pulled up dozens of recipes for making your own. It couldn't be easier. Mix unpitted cherries with high proof neutral spirit and sugar and let the mixture sit for at least three months. According to some sources, if you make it with sweet cherries, then it's Vishniak, and if you make it with sour cherries, then it's Vishnovka. If that's true, then mine would be made from sweet cherries. There are versions of this liqueur with similar names made throughout Eastern Europe. And not just there. As soon as I read the recipe, I thought of Cherry Bounce, which is another liqueur made basically the same way. Traditionally with brandy, then whiskey, and more recently sometimes vodka. I had tended to think it was a US Midwest thing, but apparently George and Martha Washington were serving it up at Mount Vernon. North Carolina hosts a Cherry Bounce festival every year, and Cherry Bounce is listed as a person's nickname in a 1670 House of Lords report from England. Bounce has been around for a long time. It seems everywhere cherries grow, people soak them in alcohol. The bottle label is really striking with a man riding a rearing horse. As I looked for similar bottles, I noticed that the modern Stosky brand Vishniak has a nearly identical label. But my bottle is from Polmos, not Stosky, which seems strange since both brands seem to still be around. But then Wikipedia came to the rescue. It turns out that Polmos was the name of the Polish state-owned liquor monopoly from the late 1920s until 1989. After the fall of communism in Poland, Polmos was split up into several different companies, with different entities getting different control of different distilleries and specific brands of drinks. So my guess is that Stosky got the rights to the Wisniak production and this specific label design. Lots of recipes and stories about Wisniak and Bounce suggest starting it when cherries are in fresh and in season, and then putting it away until Thanksgiving or Christmas or the high holidays if you are an Eastern European Jew. Most recipes also say that it keeps forever, which I will be putting to the test with this bottle. Based on the tax label, I can confidently say that it was imported into the US between 1983 and 1985. So if forever is more than 40 years old, maybe this one will be as much of a treat as the Vavel Mead was. Do you make bounce or Vishnak for your holiday celebrations? Tell me about it in the comments and don't forget to subscribe while you're there. Check out mytinybottles.com for more about this bottle and all the bottles, including links to Vishniak recipes. You can also follow at mytinybottles on social media for episode reminders and bonus content. Cheers. Music